This is amazing. Now we're going to see about Perplexica. It's a free AI search engine. It's an alternative to Perplexity. So if you don't know about Perplexity, it's a search engine using the power of AI. But what if you can have your own search engine running locally on your computer? You can power the local Perplexity, that is Perplexica, using Grok, Olama, or OpenAI models. As you can see here, it's running in localhost 3000, and you have multiple options, same like you have got for Perplexity, for academic research, writing, YouTube, and Reddit. For example, if I search, give me the latest AI news, then it's going to work same like Perplexity, going through various links, as you can see here, and then it's providing me the latest AI news. Here you can search for images, and also you can search for videos. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Perplexica. It's an AI powered search engine, which is completely open source. You are able to use local models. Here are two main modes. Copilot mode is in development, and mainly we'll be focusing on normal mode. You have focus modes to write article, academic research, YouTube search, Wolfram, Reddit. In this, I'm going to take you through step by step how you can install, how you can set up OpenAI, Olama, Grok, and finally run that locally on your computer. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. First, we are going to see how you can run this with using Docker. That is the more easiest option, which means you need to download Docker on your computer. Second, we'll be seeing how you can install without Docker. That is using NPM, Node Package Manager. So first step, git clone and this URL and then click enter. I'll provide all the information in the description below. So after cloning, navigate to that folder, CD Perplexica and then click enter. Now I'm opening this in a code editor to edit few files. So after opening in the VS Code Editor, you will have a sample config.toml. So this is how it looks like. So just make a copy of this or just rename this. Right click, you can rename and remove the sample. Just keep only the config and then click enter. And now you have one config.toml file, just open it. You can keep all these things default. The main thing to focus on is API keys. So if you're planning to use OpenAI, just enter your OpenAI API key. If you're planning to use Grok, use Grok API key. And if you're planning to use Olama, and if you've already installed Olama on your computer, just change this to localhost for Mac. If you're running Olama using Docker, then you might need to modify this like this, host docker internal 11434. But in my case, I'm running on my Mac, so I'm going to use localhost 11434. And I've already downloaded Olama from olama.com and ran Olama pull Llama 3 to download the Llama 3 model, as you can see here. But here I'm going to show you mainly OpenAI Grok. So after entering the relevant API keys for Grok and OpenAI, just save the file. Now inside the same folder, type docker compose up hyphen D and then click enter. Now this will automatically download the required container image and it will automatically start running. Now you can just type docker ps and then you can see the perplexica front end, perplexica back end and it's using search xng. That is mainly used for searching. So our main focus is on the front end. That's the user interface. So it's 000 3000, that is localhost 3000. So here I am in localhost 3000. Now we are ready to test this out. Here you can click the settings here. As you can see here, I'm using OpenAI model first, GPT-4 Omni, choosing the embedding model OpenAI, text embedding, and here you'll get the API key and then click save. Now I'm going to type, give me latest AI news and then click enter. And you can see it automatically went through these links and got me this latest AI news. You can change the settings to Grok by clicking the settings. And here, chat model provider is Grok, chat model Llama 3 70 billion parameter model. Then we are using embedding model from OpenAI. But you can even set up your local embedding model by clicking local and choosing it here. But for now, I'm going to stick with OpenAI. So let's test the Llama 370 billion parameter model using Grok. Let's say latest news about Grok and then click enter. You can see it go through the latest news articles. Then based on that, it's writing me this response. Now let's try different options such as academic. So this will bring you academic papers and it's used for our research. So let's say use of LLM in healthcare 
and click enter and you can see the research are from archive papers and it went through all these papers and based on that it's giving me a summary with all the relevant information one of the primary application of llms in healthcare is in clinical language understanding tasks llms can be fine-tuned to meet the unique needs of the healthcare domain and it's giving me more relevant and useful information based on the research article now i can even ask follow-up questions and it's giving me some suggestion how can llms be fine-tuned to meet the unique needs of the healthcare domain just clicking on that again it went through all these articles and it gave me this detailed answer so you can keep on asking questions next let's see youtube i'm going to ask question just typing praise and ai and then click enter and it's going through all my youtube videos in regards to praise and ai and it's giving me more relevant information with all the references and you can see the number of youtube videos it went through one thing to note is that the copilot feature is still being built so it might not work for now but i hope it, this will be improved very soon in the settings there is another option custom open ai here you can provide the model name api key that could be any fake api key or just for test and then here you can provide the base url so here i will provide olama base url but you can change this to anything such as lm studio jan ai text generation web ui so provide this here and then you can run this completely locally on your computer and all your data remains private if you're going to use any local softwares and choose the embedding model provider to local that will be super exciting next i'm going to show you how you can install this using node package manager but without docker containers so make sure you download a node.js from node.js.org next when you come to the vs code editor perplexica there's a folder called ui just go on to that and then you got .env.example so we are going to rename that as .env just rename .env and then click enter so this is the content for the .env file keep your previous config.toml file as it is because that's where the settings for the OpenAI Grok API key and Olama is coming from now in the terminal you can navigate to the UI folder so cd UI and then click enter now npm i and then click enter to install all the npm packages now you can here you can see the packages got installed now npm run builds and then click enter now it's building all the required packages with the environment variables as you can see here and it's all ready now now finally npm run start and then click enter now you can see it's running in port number 3000 as before now one more step you need to do is to start the backend so currently the ui that is the front end is running just going to open a new terminal and it's in the perplexica folder so there i'm going to type npm i to install all the backend packages now all the packages got installed now npm run build to build same as before now npm run start and then click enter now we have both backend running and also if you see here the front end is also running now i'm going to open this url and you can see the user interface here same as before i can change settings here and ask questions one more thing to note is that you have search xng that is the main search engine which powers perplexica so you might need to install this as a third step apart from running the front end and the back end to make it work this might be complicated for non-developers so it's better to use a docker version if you are a non-developer and you got all the installation steps in this document file as you can see here i'm really excited about this i'm going to create more videos similar to this so stay tuned I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.